Akere Dolu meets us parents, assures them we must not interfere and non-interference in this that is going on currently now. A few days ago, the vice president was in Akure, Ondo State, the capital, and Akere Dolu told him then that uh, uh, Ondo State will stand with the vice president. But again, it sounds more like a conflict of interest. Don't forget that um, the person of Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu is, you know, uh, Luru Timi Akere Dolu is a Tinubu man. Okay, Tinubu man in the sense that when Tinubu was in the UK and was recuperating from knee surgery, so we heard. Akere Dolu said then that we're waiting for a kapo when he was walking towards his re-election. One of let's get all the details. What is really going on? Akere Dolu meets as parents, assured them of non-interference. Ondo State will not interfere in any process. The Ondo State Governor, Olorotimi Akere Dolu, yesterday met with aspirants varying for tickets of the All Progressive Congress and the states for the 2023 general election. Akere Dolu met with the aspirant at Koko Conference Hall of the Governor's Office, assures them of a level playing ground, stressing need to promote unity within the party. He urged the Senate, House of Representatives, House of Assembly aspirants to allow the leadership of the party to drive the process. Speaking on presidency, he said, everyone must follow their heart, look at every aspirant and vote as APC prim primaries for presidency draws close. Vote a candidate they feel of their choice. Nobody must interfere with another person because we are all one APC. We have people there who have stood with us, who are for us, who have come to us to tell us they want to lead. We must not interfere. We must vote what we think best. The governor who also warned seven lawmakers that they should not perform in the constitutions and sanitary districts to reassure themselves before contesting for the party's ticket again said self-reassessment is key go and assess yourself i have come here to appeal to all of you that you don't have to run into this election with a huge number i know people who have resigned i am not feeling this position until after the election don't close any option leave all options open the party has a stake akere dolu who noted that the party in the state is currently sailing smoothly urged the aspirants not to heat up the political atmosphere saying i can assure you that we will give a level playing field but assure yourself sit down and think look at your assessment what have you attracted to your constitution to your constituency and sanitary district as a senator as a house of rep members uh, that you think will uh, give you the opportunity for the people to judge you correctly and to vote for you earlier chairman of the party in the state Ad Ade Ade Tayo told the aspirants that the party will be guarded by principles and discipline meanwhile a chieftain of the APC has also assured ambassadors of the party that those who are interested can pick up their interest nomination form for senatorial offices as primaries draw closer. So Aluro Timi Akere Dolu is assuring all that they will not interfere. They will do what they are supposed to do, not interfering in the sense that they will not tell you it has to be Tinubu, it has to be Osibanjo. You know, and I think that's a good gesture. I think that's very key. That it has to be Tinubu, it has to be a Sibanjo. No, he said we will not interfere. We will allow the people to make their choices. We will allow them. Okay, so when you come there and you look at it and you say in your heart something is saying to you that you feel very strongly that Tinubu is the man or Sibanjo is the man, then you know, so this is it. This is what is happening right now. So, my wonderful people, you know, it's, it's actually the right thing to do. Like I earlier reiterated, whether you like it or not, it, it, you know, the Tinubu or Sibanjo's uh, quest for presidency is putting many people, you know, in a very difficult or a tight corner, so to say. 
you know, it's putting a lot of a lot of people under pressure in a tight corner because whether you like it or not, uh, Akere Dulu is a Tinubu man. Akere Dulu is an Osibanjo man, you know. And if you look at it closely, you will understand that he's in a state of dilemma at this point in time because, uh, you know, he's met with uh, Osibanjo. He may have his affiliation with Osibanjo and why he feels Osibanjo should be supported. Then he will have his zone with Tinubu. Remember during his re-election, Tinubu left every other thing to go to the state on those. Tinubu was there life, stood with him. So you see, when people have done something for you, it's only right that when it is time for them as well, you don't leave them hang and drying. It shows a level of, you know, unseriousness. It shows that you are not a grateful somebody. But when you are somebody who think, you'll be able to be thankful, you know, so you can understand when they look at the whole scenario, they look at all that is happening, they are in between opinions here. Yeah. Who do we choose? Should we should we, should it be Tinubu? Should it be Osibanjo? Don't forget that there are other aspirants. These are just the two we are mentioning. There are sincerely other people who are also varying for the same position. You know, if not that Nigeria the way it is, how did these people make this money that they all are going for this position? How did they make this money? But again, that's the story for the gods. Another story for another day. Nobody asks that question. There is no, there is no law and order. There is, I mean, money they are spending is not there. So why not if not? You know. So these are some of the things ongoing. And um, what I carry the look and just promises people is we are not going to interfere. We are not. So you do your peak, and also is ad advising and encouraging those in his state as well. You know that they should do the needful. Pick the right candidates, support the right candidates. So at the end of the day, you know, um, it, it's it, the, the, the state is having a good opportunity and um, it's not uh, in between people, uh, you know, and they're just choosing the wrong persons because the choices will determine what will happen going forward. The choices the people are making now will determine what will happen going forward. So it is what it is. And um, it is a very wise counsel for him to advise the people that nobody should interfere. Everybody should be able to allow the other person make a choice of their own. Uh, I mean, make an informed decision because we all know where the things are at at the moment, you know. So that's tenable for you. He goes, I mean, I mean, he supports people. So when it's his turn, he's not expecting less, you see. So these are some of the things ongoing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. Is bye for now. Bye.